So you talk a lot about creativity, and I so believe that creativity, people work hard, do all kinds of things, but creativity is just the jet engine that takes people to the absolute top. And you talk a lot about it, and you know my favorite story about your creativity when you, uh, it's the customers when you, you know, creatively went to the, uh, followed the cars or whatever, the thing on the top. <laughs> uh, uh, I can fill uh, you in on that a little you, bit. Just tell that story. Everybody, everybody listening, everybody watching has well, to hear that story. Well, first of all, my father taught me to take credit for everything. Okay. I'm kidding. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I, I cannot believe it or not, I cannot uh, take credit for this strategy. Right. Uh, however, it is kind of a, a one in a hundred. I'm 21 years old. I graduate University of Minnesota. Got my sheepskin here. Right. Kind of cocky. Think I know it all. Want to start at the top and work up. First college graduate in the family. My sister didn't uh, graduate from college, even though she's my editor today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, kind of uh, having chapped lips from kissing the mirror too much. Right. I mean, right, I, right. Really, <laughs> I really thought I was good. Yeah. I, I, I thought I could start right at the top. Just go straight up. Yeah. Well, it didn't work that way. So they... I started an envelope company, Quality Park Envelope Company. They throw the yellow pages at me. Good luck, kid. Mm -hmm. And I had some problems the first few months. The fellow's name was Carpenter. He comes in at 7 a.m. in the morning, and I told him, uh, you know, how long do you call on a prospect before you stop calling? And he said, depends on which one of us dies first. <laughs> now, not only that, but I told him I'm having some problems. You know, where do you find your prospects? And he looked at his watch, and I remember... I think he called me Sonny Boy, and he said, come on with me, Sonny Boy. He knew, I'd, again, I'd been there only a few months. Mm -hmm. And we got in the car, and we started driving across town, 15-minute mm -hmm. drive. He stopped 75 to 100 yards away from our arch competitor, Tension Envelope Company. God, I got worried, and I, I said to myself, uh, my gosh, is he can take me up to the front door, ring the doorbell, and say, here's Harvey, we can't do anything with him, good luck. <laughs> good luck, I love uh, who, that. Who knows, who knows? But no, we sat there until the trucks started to drive away. The delivery trucks. We followed those trucks for eight solid hours. I love hours. that, I love that. Look at the prospects making the envelope stops that we don't even know are available. We don't even know the competitors, okay, they're best customers. Right. And we're taking notes. And he taught me that. And then I taught it to my company. And of course, we've been doing it ever since. Okay, so you you followed the trucks. Wait until would, they make the deliveries. Right, so you identified the customers of Tension Envelope Company. Of course. Right? Okay. Of course. So what'd you do after? And you're, well, you're three you or four months <laughs> selling now, right? You're three or four months selling with I Quality went, Park. I went right back. I took up the list, A to Z. Right. Is this a customer of ours? If it wasn't, we know whether it was a small customer, right. big customer, right. medium-sized customer, by how many tens of thousands of envelopes in boxes they delivered. Right, right. So right. we knew the size of the account, the shipment, and we knew where it was. Yeah. I and was. so, again... Uh, Macy doesn't tell Gimbo anything. You you just have to, and I'm dating myself there from the department stores, of course. But right. but um, uh, yes, that was uh, that was one of the best uh, that I've ever learned from anyone in all my years of selling. So follow the trucks. Follow the trucks. And follow I your love competitors' that. trucks. I, follow your competitors' trucks exactly right. to find out who your future customers might be. Right. Exactly. So we still do it. You do. Shh. Oh, I love that. That's Today. great. That's great. <laughs>